in your heart. Tell the Lord, do I have a witness here? Look at Satan. Just look at him. He know how to do. He know how to get the devices. He know what you like. Look at him. He's legal with you. He know where you're sitting at. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. For the people of God. For the saint of God. For the world that have not accepted Jesus. This is where you will end up in. This is where you won't be around. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody say that hell ain't real. Don't let nobody say that hell ain't real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. It is for prepared people. Whatever you do is based upon the decision that you make. But when you serve the Lord, when you accept Jesus Christ, you get power over the devil. Look at him. He's trying to hide. But I come to tell somebody, the world that's on the winning side, the world that's on the lower side, we got power over the devil. Satan, get out of here. The blood of Jesus is against you. Get out of here, Satan. Get out of here, you demon. Get out of here, you seducing spirit. Turn the light back on. Hallelujah. Get out of here, Satan. The blood is against you. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. Clap your hands and give God a point. You will see him. You will smell him. You will breathe him. You will hear him. You will feel him. You will be him. Do I have a witness here? Now who was hell designed for? Hallelujah. Satan and his demons. Do I have a witness here? But let's go right to Psalms. Psalms 9 and 17. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Feel God in here. Hallelujah. Psalms 9 and 17 says, The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. Not only Satan and his angels, but you and you, if you don't make the decision that you want to live for God, you're going to spend your life in hell. I didn't come to preach houses to you. I didn't come to prophesy and say the message of the come. I decided to come here this morning to say that money is coming. Baby, you better get in your mind that Jesus is coming. And he's coming for a church that has not spot, ring, or blemish. Where is hell? Hell is in the lower part of the earth. It's in the pit. The direction is down. It's beneath the earth. How big is, is hell? Well, according to Isaiah 5 and 14, it says that hell have a large herself without a measure. In other words, it was only designed for a certain thing, so many people. But because of the wickedness of the people, because they forget God, because of the hardness of the heart that they reject Christ, hell have a love of self without a measure. I don't care what belt you wear, you can't measure, amen, hell. I don't, the ruler stick is not big enough to measure it. A tape measure stick is not, amen, big enough to measure do I have a witness here? You can't even measure him. Somebody say, no, God, who is a God of love, will send me to hell. Yes, he is a God of love, but God is a holy God. And a holy God, so the joy my God, demands payment for sin. Do I have a witness here? Because God is holy, Sin must be condemned. He loves you so much that that is the reason why, amen, he son Jesus. Do I have a witness here? It messed up the plan in the Garden of Eden when Adam disobeyed God and sin separated us from God. Do I have a witness here? But he loved you so much, Brother James, he sent the son Jesus to die for you to shed his blood for you that you can still have access to get to heaven. Do I have a witness? You got to come through Jesus. 
There's no other way. There's no other name. Other men, while we must be saved. But of the name of Jesus. And of that name. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. But the Bible says in John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, shall not die, but you can have everlasting life. Hallelujah! I would rather have everlasting life with the angels in heaven than everlasting life with the demons in hell. Do I have a witness here? Paul said in Romans 5 and 8, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us. God does not send people to hell. It's your decision. It's your choice. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness here? It's a point of the man who wants to die. As many of us are sitting here with blood going in our veins, you are going to die. You're going to die. It's a point unto you to die. Do I have a witness here? Oh, but when you die, it's not over. People think when you die, that it's over. It's not over. I hear my sound in my ear. She said, Oh yes, if dying was all, I wouldn't mind dying. But dying is not all. There's a judgment that is coming. There's some consequences that comes when you reject Christ. Do I have a witness here? I don't want you to spend your life in hell. I want you to live for God. Because he sees he's soon to return. I know you've been here in a year after year, year after year. That he's sooner recurrent, but he's sooner than he was on yesterday. Sooner than he was on the latter years. He's sooner to return. There's somebody here right now. Out of all the messages and the preaching and the teaching. Hallelujah. You need to make that decision. That's right. Amen. I can't make it for you. No, I love my mother, but my mother can't make this decision for me. She can't for me. It's an individual thing. And I'm talking to some certain people in here that you need to make that decision. I ain't trying to scare you. That little thing, what they did, ain't nothing compared to what's going to happen. That ain't nothing. I just, just want to show you something a little visual. But it's nothing what's going to be going on. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We think that it's hot up in here because we just shot it. Hell, it's hotter. Hallelujah. 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 And you want to be there for eternity. Now, what is eternity? Ever and ever. Ever and ever don't end out. It just continues on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God sent his son to die for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That you might have everlasting life. Yes. It's given to you. Yes, it's your choice yes. that you make. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes. Our lives are based upon the decisions that we make. Yes. But there is one decision that you want to make. That's right. Go ahead. There's one decision that you have to make. Yes. Is that if you want to accept Jesus and live right and be clean and pure, that's right. or you gonna stay in your sin and go right on to hell? All right. All right. I'm gonna make it plain. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. All right. It doesn't matter how much you can sing or shout. Right. Hallelujah! All right. All right. Cause many are singing and shouting right. and on their way to hell. Yeah. Hallelujah! Because the gift of singing comes without repentance. Come on, church. Hallelujah. But he died for you. 
You can't stop doing your thing. You'll be waiting, be lost forever. I'm going to get in when I get, amen, get myself. You ain't going to never get yourself together. You got to make that choice. God.